President Yunsungyeol attended the first day of the G20 summit in Brazil, focusing on tackling global poverty and hunger. He also called for a global solidarity on maintaining a rules-based order amid Russia and North Korea's military cooperation. Our Ocean reports from Rio. President Yoon Song Yeol pledged 10 million US dollars to battle hunger in Africa and the ramping up of global food aid by 50,000 tons next year. This came as the South Korean leader attended the G20 summit, which kicked off on Monday in Rio de Janeiro. After participating in the launch of the Brazil led global alliance against hunger and poverty, Yoon set out South Korea's contributions and solutions. He announced Seoul will provide $10 million worth of humanitarian aid to address Africa's food crisis by the end of the year. He also said South Korea plans to ramp up its global food aid contribution by 50,000 tons to 150,000 in 2025 through the United Nations World Food Programme. Seoul has already doubled its contribution this year compared to 2023. At this year's G20 summit, President Yoon emphasized that achieving a sustainable future for humanity requires inclusive economic growth in developing countries. He stressed the importance of structural reform and fiscal innovation in developing nations to leverage the private sector's capabilities fully. He also argued that the G20, as the top forum for global economic cooperation, must support efforts to create new growth drivers in developing countries. In this regard, Yoon announced South Korea's intent to increase contributions to the International Development Association by 45 percent compared to 2021. The IDA, as part of the World Bank, provides grants and low-interest loans to help countries invest in their futures. He also said Seoul will look to increase its contributions to the Pandemic Fund, which aims to strengthen pandemic prevention, preparedness and response capacities. Based on South Korea's own experience of rising from the ashes of war and poverty, President Yoon highlighted the country's role as a bridge of prosperity, connecting developing and advanced economies. The Yoon administration held South Korea's first ever bilateral summits with Pacific Island Forum countries and African Union nations and plans to hold a summit with Central Asian countries in 2025. Furthermore, the president emphasized that economic growth of developing countries can only be achieved within the framework of a rules-based order, noting North Korea's large-scale troop deployments to Russia and that the Ukraine war has entered a critical phase. Yun strongly urged Moscow and Pyongyang to immediately cease their illegal military cooperation. Yun further appealed to G20 leaders to unite in their will and actions to uphold the global rules-based order. The leaders of Japan, Germany, Canada and Australia also criticised the Russian-North Korea axis, deeming it a threat to global security. On the sidelines of the multilateral summit, President Yoon also met with the leaders of MICTA countries, Mexico, Indonesia, Korea, Turkey and Australia for the third consecutive year. They adopted a joint statement reaffirming their commitment to cooperate on areas such as sustainable development, world peace and security and global governance. Amid growing concerns around the world over North Korea's collaboration with Russia, the MICTA leaders called on all UN member states to uphold the UN Charter and abide by Security Council resolutions. Addressing the meeting of the world's 19 largest economies, the European Union and the African Union, President Yoon on Tuesday will emphasize South Korea's role as a green ladder to help developing economies achieve both growth and carbon neutrality. Oh Seong, Arirang News, Rio de Janeiro.